Before you strap your patient down into the litter, make sure and pat it for their comfort. Pay particular attention to supporting arches like below, behind the knees, and the lower back and the neck. Find the center of a 20 foot length of webbing and girth hitch the harness. Make sure and don't use the belay loop for the top and bottom portion of your patient packaging because since that's not completely tight on the harness, you can leave yourself some slack in the system. Next, do an overhand knot to create some loops here in the webbing that are just big enough to easily slide webbing through in steps, step five. Sometimes, depending how, your, how big your patient is, this can eat up most of the rope. So it's a good idea to conserve webbing rather whenever possible. Next, take each of these and go under the arm and cross behind the back. If you have trouble remembering whether to cross behind or in front, just think of these kind of like a hug that wraps around someone's back or remind yourself that you don't really want to have things crossing in front of the neck there. Get those around. Go ahead and bring them down. And tie an overhand in these, around these loops here. Smoke that up. When combined with the lower patient packaging in the next video, you now have a system that holds your patient down far enough that they won't slide up and hit their head on the end of the litter. And finally, take these up and attach them to the litter. And whenever you do a final tie off on the litter, do this with a round hitch, which is simply two wraps around and then an overhand onto the webbing itself. The round hitch serves to take some, add friction to the system there, so not only holds this in place while you tie your knot, but it also um, lessens the strain on, on your overhand knot, which makes it easier to remove later on. You now have a system that will prevent ejection from the lower end of the litter if the lower end gets drunk, like so. We'll now go through these steps several more times for review, but to really learn this, you need to practice it yourself. So if you're not lucky enough to have your own litter and someone willing to let you tie them down, then at least you can practice drawing it on the images you'll find below this video or follow the links that you'll find there.